Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about one of the most important AWS services, which is AWS S3. S3 is the storage service uh, provided by AWS. Now, S3 stands for Simple Storage Service. Okay, it lets you store infinite amount of data in AWS Cloud. And AWS S3 is highly scalable, reliable, fast, inexpensive data storage infrastructure. AWS S3 is used by you know very huge uh, and large enterprises to store their enterprise and application data in the cloud, and uh, it serves as a storage for internet applications, backup and recovery, disaster recovery, data archives, data lake, uh, data lakes uh, for analytics, and many other purposes. AWS S3 is one of the most widely used AWS services. Now, if you are beginning to learn uh, AWS. S3 is one of the most important services that you must be aware of because like almost all the services uh, in AWS S3 like EMR, Glue, Athena, many analytics related servi uh, services, compute related services all make use of AWS S3 in some of the other way. So AWS is, S3 is one of the very key important uh, key services to understand. Now, with that said, uh, let's move on and uh, look at a few key concepts of AWS S3. Okay, uh, let me give you a brief uh, overview of S3. So, S3 is an object based storage system. What does that mean? It means that your files are stored as objects inside buckets. Like, it is not a folder based storage. Although, uh, when, uh, when I'm creating a bucket, I will show you, it might, uh, uh, you know, the UI might show you the directories etc but that's just an ui trick uh, basically the objects are stored i mean the files are stored as objects inside the bucket now uh, the key concepts of aws s3 so the, these are the things that you must be aware of when you are uh, studying about aws s3 the first key thing is uh, uh, obviously buckets and objects and what is the consistency model of aws s3 okay these are the three things that we will be discussing in this video in the next video, I'll be talking about uh, what are the storage tiers available, what is S3 lifecycle rules, performance, encryption, and security. Okay, for this video, I'm going to cover what is an S3 bucket, what are objects, and what is the consistency model of AWS S3. And also, I'm going to show you a demo of how to create your AWS bucket, how to upload files, and uh, how to do like basic operations with AWS S3. Okay, now let's see what an AWS S3 bucket is. Okay, AWS bucket is the first resource that you need to create uh, to start storing your objects or files in AWS. Okay, bucket is basically an AWS S3 resource. Your files or objects are stored inside this bucket. Okay, and buckets are created in a particular region. So you, while creating the bucket, you need to specify the region in which the bucket will be created. And uh, there are a few naming conventions while you are creating your S3 bucket. Like you know, the bucket name should uh, be with uh, the link length of the name should be between three and sixty three characters, and it can consist of only lowercase letters. Okay, it cannot consist uh, uppercase letters, and uh, it can consist numbers, dots, and hyphens. Not no, I mean no other uh, special characters are uh, allowed apart from this. And bucket names must begin and end with a letter or number. It cannot uh, start or end with a dot or a hyphen. Okay. And bucket names must not be formatted as an IP address like this. Okay. So these are the naming conventions that we need to follow while creating an uh, AWS S3 bucket. I'll show you more on this when we uh, go to the demo part and create our S3 bucket. So this is about the buckets. So now let's take a look at what are objects or files. Okay. Objects are, the, I mean, your files which you upload to your S3 bucket. So the objects have like two key attributes. Uh, the first thing is of course the key. Every object or file that you upload to an S3 bucket has a key. Uh, uh, suppose you are uploading your myfile.txt into this directory, one in this example bucket. So the key of this uh, file will be this entire thing, okay? This entire uh, example bucket slash directory one slash myfile.txt, this is the key of that file. And value value is the content that you are storing inside your file okay so this key and value are important when you are retrieving your uh, i mean s3 uh, files from api or like when you are reading your files from a code uh, i'll show you more on that later okay and uh, the maximum size of an object is 5 terabytes okay 
and uh, what is the metadata metadata is basically uh, you know name value base which you can store uh, like regarding an object you can store a metadata version id version id is again like uh, if you have versioning enabled in your bucket uh, your files like you can upload two or three versions of a files and every file is stored with the version id i'll show you more on that in the next video when i talk about aws sd versioning and access control information is something that uh, you know you define like who has access to this file or object and who, who can who can access these files so that's about aws uh, i mean uh, objects or files now let's uh, talk about aws s3 consistency model what does consistency model mean like uh, it means that what is the like what after when can you access the files after uploading or when can you when does the aws s3 start reflecting the changes that you do to your objects so basically aws s3 has a read after write consistency model for puts of new objects like if you upload a new object then you can you know immediately st start seeing that object in your uh, s3 okay so that's read after write consistency for uh, s3 okay so that's about for the puts of new object and uh, eventual consistency for overwrite puts and deletes so suppose you're overwriting an existing object or if you're deleting an existing object in the s3 bucket it might not reflect as soon as you do it okay so suppose like if you are updating i mean if you are updating an ex existing file and immediately you start uh, you want to see the file you might see the older version of the file that is because of even eventual consistency of s3 and suppose you have you are deleting an existing file and immediately after deleting you might still be able to see the con con uh, contents of that file uh, i mean because of this eventual consistency of aws s3 so with this understanding of uh, basic concepts of AWS S3, let's go to AWS console and see how to create an S3 bucket. Okay, now I'm in my AWS management console. Uh, I'll search for S3 here and find services. Okay, so I'll click on S3. Okay, uh, it takes me to my AWS S3 console. This is how uh, AWS S3 console looks like. It's very simple and intuitive. Okay, to click on your first bucket, uh, and if you're launching for your uh, S3 for you for first time, you might not be able. I mean, you might not have any of these buckets in your account. Okay, so to create your first bucket, click on Create Bucket here, and you need to give this bucket name. So whatever the naming conventions that I have explained earlier you need to follow all those so make sure that you give an in week name uh, globally so, so if so, suppose if someone else is using the same uh, uh, bucket name uh, i mean it might fail the create might fail okay let me give something like you to demo tutorial aws made easy okay i'm giving pretty lo long name just to make sure that uh, you know uh, no one is using this name okay you need to specify a region in which your uh, bucket will be created and this just click on next here okay so after clicking next here so basically all these are like uh, versioning server access logging and uh, you know the tags that you can have create to uh, like tag your resources object level logging default encryption all these things Okay, I'll be, uh, I'll have, I'll make a separate video on uh, S3 versioning, server access logging and all this stuff. Okay, for now we can just uh, ignore this. Uh, like to give you a quick introduction, versioning is uh, to make sure like all uh, files you upload have a version ID and you know, uh, like uh, if you are replacing an existing file, both the versions of the file will be stored. And server access logging is uh, like it logs all the requests that your bucket gets uh, to uh, like access your data, access uh, data or whatever. So that's about uh, server access logging. The tags is just basically to, uh, uh, to track your objects, to identify your uh, uh, AWS resources. Okay, uh, encryption, object level logging, all this uh, encryption is basically to secure your data. I'll make a separate video on AWS encryption because it's a very key concept, a concept in uh, S3. So yeah, for for this video, we'll just ignore all this and click on next. Okay. So by default, this blo block all pub public access is checked. Okay. Um, this means that you know no one uh, like 
can access your uh, s3 bucket from uh, outside so by default this is checked and if you want to grant uh, someone access to your s3 bucket uh, from like i know uh, http address you can just uh, uncheck this but you know it's always recommended to check this box and make sure it's secure your data is secure okay and i'll click on next find this okay click on create bucket okay seems like my bucket is created yeah so this is the bucket uh, that is created now let me open this bucket yeah if you see the my bucket my bucket is empty now so to upload any new file to your aws s3 bucket click on upload here and click on add files okay i'm gonna select this file and click on open okay and here we just click on upload now if you see here it says that the upload has started okay so this show, shows the status of your upload or delete okay now it shows it is successful so yeah my uh, file is reflecting here let me open uh, if you want to preview this file there is an option to preview like csv json and parquet files in aws s3 you can click on select from here and go to, since my file is csv file uh, file format is csv uh, and i'm going to click on show file preview so this is one of the key uh, i mean uh, good features of aws s3 you can just preview your file here so this is my file i can uh, have a look at it in aws s3 so this is basically supported only for csv json and uh, parquet formats okay so now uh, the key i mean the as i told you earlier the key of this file will be your uh, bucket name slash the csv file now if you're going to create if you want to create a directory within this uh, folder i can just like have my directory and click on save sorry i spelled it wrong yeah that's fine okay so in this directory i can upload uh, any files so this UI makes it looks like we are for, uh, storing the files inside a folder, but that's not uh, the case. It's just an UI trick. Basically, the files are uh, like the key of this file will be uh, bucket name slash directory name slash your file. Okay, so that's how you create a bucket that and upload your files, create directories in your bucket, and yeah, that's the basics of how to use AWS S3. Yeah, so in the next video, I'm going to talk more about uh, like advanced features of uh, advanced concepts of AWS S3 like encryption and uh, server access logging and and uh, the performance of AWS S3, the security and uh, what we'll also see what are the different storage tiers uh, available in AWS S3. Okay, so storage tiers are basically a very efficient, a very good way to save your costs in AWS S3. So yeah, that's all for with this video. In the next video, we'll talk more about AWS S3. Thank you.